Surprise! Hello, Ducks fans. Did you miss me? Nope. Welcome to a new season. Quackcast is officially back. With the baseball season ending, I feel so bad for the Angels fan because his team has just had he had they had such a bad end of the season. I'm sure he'll do better next year. So I'm here today to give you a review on what the Ducks look like heading into the 2021 to 22 season. So last year was the truncated season of 56 games instead of 82 because of the COVID pandemic. It will be a full 82 this time around. No. Nice. And let's do a little bit of a review on the team. So the coaching staff will still remain the same with Dallas Aikens behind the bench as the, as the main coach. But the Ducks did add some new coaches for the season. One of these being Jeff Ward, a former coach of the Calgary Flames. He was there for a couple of years. We also re-signed a few of our players, brought them back on qualifying offers, but we did lose a few to free agency. We brought back Max Comtois, Max Jones, and Josh Mahura to two-year ex extensions and three-year extensions. Lundestrom and Steele were brought back on one-year pacts. And we also signed some, uh, uh, not a lot of free agents, which I'm a little surprised about. But we got some veteran defensemen to, to help us out on the blue line. We have Greg Patteron and Buddy Robinson, former Minnesota Wild and Columbus Blue Jackets slash Calgary Flames player, respectively. So not a whole lot to report there, but it will be a really interesting to watch our rookies, Trevor Zegris and Jamie Drysdale. You may have watched glimpses of them briefly last year. Drysdale is a defenseman. Zegers is a forward. Some There's some speculation out there saying that Zegers could be up for the Calder. What do you think? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. The few plays, the times I watched him, I liked what he was doing with the puck. He seemed to be very under control. He has a good shot. Just sometimes he would get knocked off the puck by defenders. Because, of course, he still needs time to develop. But that's what training camp and the preseason are for. That is correct. So the preseason will be seven games, and we will, and it will start tomorrow versus the San Jose Sharks. It's a split squad game, and only the last preseason game will be on the TV. So you'll either the only way you'll get to know about the games and how they went is if you listen to it on the radio or you use the app and listen to the... Uh, radio version on your phone. So I'm not expecting a whole lot for the Ducks this year. I'm expecting them to be kind of as bad as they were, even unless there's some kind of a miracle. But my prediction for this season is that the Ducks are going to win at least one game. John Gibson will still be the number one goalie, even though he has come out publicly and said that he is getting tired of losing. So if it's a really bad season, we could see Gibby get traded. And I mean, Anthony Stolarz looks like a pretty solid backup to him now with Ryan Miller retired. He did a really good job in his few years that he had with the Ducks. One of the other assistant coaches we brought back is Newell Brown, who is entering his second or third stint with the club. And he actually was one of the assistant coaches when Randy Carlisle was still here in 2007 when we won the Stanley Cup. Even though I was only seven years old, I don't remember that. I don't didn't follow hockey as well back then as I do now. So let's talk about, um, with that being said, some of the, a little bit in depth on some of the free agents that we did pick up, specifically Patteron and Buddy Robinson. But I will also mention before we do that one of the guys we did lose in free agency was Carter Rowney. He was probably our best defensive forward. He signed a three-year deal with the Detroit Red Wings. Carter, good luck in Detroit. So we signed, as I mentioned earlier in the video, Buddy Robinson and Danny O'Regan. Let's start with O'Regan. He's had a couple of games already under his belt in the NHL, playing 
playing his college at Boston University, recording 154 points in 154 games, so a point per game in 2012 to 16. He's played in total. He's played 25 total games between the San Jose Sharks and the Buffalo Sabers. Patterson is got a lot more experience in the NHL. 280 career games for the veteran defenseman with the Sharks, Colorado Avalanche, Minnesota Wild, Dallas Stars, and Montreal Canadiens. Interesting. I had no idea he actually played for Montreal. I remember him from the Stars, Wild, and Avs. He has 168 penalty minutes in his career and. He, has, he played 80 games in 2018-19, a career high when he was with the Wild, and he did, and he was a good shot blocker. So this could be a, a good third pairing defenseman to go along with somebody like a Kevin Shattenkirk or maybe a Hampus Lindholm or something. Buddy Robinson, if I can find something on here. Buddy Robinson has only played in nine games in the NHL. He's he's 29 years old and. It was with the Flames last year, 2020 to 21, and he only had three points and 13 penalty minutes. He's a big, big defenseman, and he's spent a lot of his time in the AHL. He'll probably be bouncing around like he did with the other teams he's played for between the NHL and that team's AHL affiliate. So nothing, nothing special there. And the only other sort of signing that we had was signing Tobias Reeder to a PTO, professional tryout opportunity. So, not a lot to report there. I hope the Ducks can do something. Like, I think this is another year of rebuilding and developing team chemistry. The team's not going to be the juggernaut like it was a few years ago when they went to the semifinals versus the Blackhawks and the Predators in 15 and 17, respectively. I expect this to be, as I said, another year of a rebuilding and getting team development and chemistry down. Some more of the prospects need to emerge besides Max Comtois. Zegris and Drysdale need to take a step forward. Sam Steele, while he does have a career hat-trick already, he hasn't really broken out into what he could be, and I hope that he can break out a little bit more. On random note, Comtois changed his number already from 53 to 44. You were expecting a different number, weren't you? But no, it's 44. So... The regular season for the Ducks starts Wednesday, October 12th. That's in a couple of weeks, and we'll be at home versus the Winnipeg Jets. Let's see how that game goes, and I will do an episode just prior to a day or two prior to that game right here on my YouTube channel. So that's it for this intro episode and team preview. It's officially the preseason, which means hockey is officially back. The Ducks' first preseason game will be tomorrow, a split squad game versus the Sharks. I am so excited for hockey season. How about you? Tell me your thoughts in the comments section below, and which team do you root for? Do you root for the Ducks like me? Do you root for our freeway rival Kings, or do you root for another team that I don't really pay as much attention to? Let me know. And with that being said, have a good day. Stay safe. Let's go Ducks!